When he was introduced to Goldmore Promotions, I got introduced to him through through the promotion uh, company, and we we became friends instantly. We did a little bit of work early in his career. Abner called me and said, "Hey, you know, uh, do you want to work with me for the next fight? I got another title fight coming up with uh, with Big Darchinian. You know, do you think we could do some good work? I, I definitely can work. Can use some, you know, use you as part of my team. Let's get started, and that's that's how we get started." So I've been with Luis Garcia, my strength conditioning coach, for I'm gonna say what five, six years. And it's now that uh, people are noticing, well, my work and basically his work that he puts on me, that he has me do. It's a process, you know, I, I, it's like anything. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get this fit, obviously with, you know, one week work, two weeks, three weeks, no, it's, it's, it's been many years, you know, along with it. I think he's always been an athlete. Uh, Abner, Abner just has a natural innate quality about him and, you know, just a lot of physical talent. Um, but now I think he's just an overall athlete where, you know, even even just the way he uses his body in the ring, you know, his balance, his coordination, uh, you know, just some of his explosiveness and really developing some of those muscle fibers that maybe in the past weren't fully developed, you know, as, as he was coming up by being just a one, training one dimensionally, you know, just training the old school way. As much as I've been, I've grown in, in boxing as an athlete, as a, as a you know, three-time world champion, he's, he's grown as, as, you know, the conditioning coach that he is. And it's, you know, like I said, people probably are just recognizing his work but it takes time, like any in any any other you know industry. My boxing coach, it's it's not. I really don't even tell him anything. He tells me what to do, and I do it. With Luis, since we have that uh, you know like that brother type of you know relationship, I do. I, I, I curse that at home. I push, he pulls. I pull, he pushes. You know, and it's just this whole this whole thing. And you know, but I think I think the friendship is strong there. So at the end of the day, we can always look at each other and say, Hey, man, you did a great job. Or Hey, man, you know what? This is, this is what I see and you know, you're slacking on this and you're slacking on that and, and just as honest uh, as I am with him, he is with me. You know, I tell him, you know, like, after you lose, like, ah, I don't like this, ah, oh, man, it hurts, like, I'm not doing it. And he pushes me, like, ah, oh, come on, champ, you gotta do this, come on, man. Uh, man, Abner, Abner truly is at his prime, uh, both physically and mentally. And it's just all the pieces of the puzzle have just now come together for him. His his maturity level and his talent uh, have have reached kind of that peak, and now his body is just is just grown into it and grown into the fighter that he is. You know, he is today, kind of like a, a sprinter that's, that's, that, that tries to shave off milliseconds off their off their 100 meter time. And I think that's where we're at now, figuring out all these ways, you know, these minute ways to get you know minutely better, but all that making the biggest difference in the world. And it's just pushing to that next level. I think he's he's just there now, which is it's the best time in his career.